The places where fresh water meets the moana are for everyone. Our people, plants, animals, birds, water and land are all part of an interconnected ecosystem. Shellfish filter the water to keep it clear. Other animals stabilize the seafloor, remove pollutants or provide habitats for other small animals and fish to live. All supporting a healthy ecosystem and us. From the mountains to the sea, everything is connected. If something happens on land, it affects the taonga in our water. For example, sediment that pours off the land and into the sea is harmful. Sediment makes the water dark and cloudy, which doesn't support life. Nutrient runoff can also be harmful. Algal blooms can form with high nutrient levels and block the light from reaching the plants below. Our estuary ecosystems are already vulnerable, and this adds extra pressure. Plants and animals can die and decompose, and this process uses up lots of oxygen which is needed to sustain life. This is happening more frequently due to storms and warming seas from climate change. Shellfish and other kaimoana can disappear when an ecosystem is harmed by too much sediment, incoming nutrients, and other pollutants. These harmful activities cause stress to marine life and can be too much to cope with, affecting us too. We need to understand and limit the effects of ecosystem stresses. If they are left ignored for too long, recovery is much more difficult. How can we help? By working together. We can reduce stresses on the estuary and help the ecosystem restore itself. For example, we can improve stock and land management, fence waterways, manage forests differently and introduce filtering plants to the edges of estuaries. Understanding and limiting the combined effects of ecosystem stresses is an important step towards a healthy ecosystem.